So now we are going to look what type of problems are there in the TV system. So let us start with um, a teaser. So we have two generals. So we have two generals that need to coordinate an attack. So every general has an army and they need to coordinate an attack. And they must agree on the time of attack and they will win only if they attack simultaneously. Otherwise, you're going to lose. And they communicate through messengers and messengers could be killed in their way. So they agree on a time of attack. So we are now we are talking about um, agreeing on a specific time to coordinate an attack. So saying it in a different way, what we have is that we have two armies on the top of two opposite hills and they want to take a town and a valley in between the two hills and the problem here is that they need to coordinate an attack to happen in a specific time as I said here and if they attack in the same time they win otherwise they're going to lose. This problem illustrates the following abstraction that we have two actors and these two actors need to achieve mutual knowledge under the assumption that that they can communicate by sending and receiving message. These are the messengers. And the message can be lost with a definite non-zero probability. And they have to agree on a specific time. So let us see how we can solve this problem. So we try to solve this problem for general G1 and G2. And here we have G1 sends the time of attack to G2. And the problem we have now, how General 1 ensures that General T G2 receives the messenger? It will do, General G1 will know that only if G2 send an acknowledgement. So we let General 2 acknowledge the receipt of the messenger. But again, how to ensure that General G1 received the acknowledgement? For this to, to be done, so General G1 has to send an ACK of the receipt of the ACK. And as you can see, we can go on and on and on, and this problem is impossible to solve. So we have seen here a problem that is impossible to solve in a distributed system. So let us illustrate this pictorially again. So here we have two armies, this army one and army two, led by two generals, and here is a town they want to attack. And the idea is that they should agree on a time of attack, say at 6 p.m., And how to do that, as we said before, so General 1 send a messenger, is it okay to attack at 6 p.m.? General 2 says, yes, please confirm, sure, I will confirm, and it goes on and on, and in fact, in the end, the, the time has passed, they couldn't come to an agreement, and they can be ambushed and die. So, and as I said, this, this problem is impossible to solve. So, just to abstract again about the applicability of this problem in distributed system, we have two nodes that need to agree on a value before a specific time bound, uh, but we have unreliable communication channel and this is not possible to solve. There are so many flavors of agreement problems, so an agreement is a core problem in distributed systems. So let us look to another problem where this time is not involved in it.
And here's a problem, we call it a consensus. And what do we have? We have a set of nodes or set of processes. These can propose values. But some of the nodes now might crash and stop responding. Remember now what we are talking about. In the previous problem, nobody died. Here we have the same problem. There is no specific time of agreement, but some of the nodes might crash. And what the algorithm should ensure? It should ensure that all correct nodes, nodes that did not crash, eventually decide. Every node decides on the same proposal. And they only decide of one of the proposals that are proposed by the nodes. Okay. So this is the first uh, recurring problem that we have. In fact, I just want to say it again, uh, this problem itself is uh, might be solvable in some models, but not in other models. We'll come back to it. So let us look again, uh, pictorially, to this, just the specification of consensus. See here what we have now. We have another problem, which we have three armies. And we have two towns, and the, these armies want to agree on which town to attack first. And they do this through this consensus abstraction that we were just talking about. All right. So every general proposes one of the towns, as you can see here. But the consensus abstraction will tell them, OK, attack one specific town, which in this case, it should tell them, let us attack town A very good and in this case if that the consensus works and everything's fine they could attack uh, the town and the town will be um, and the town will be conquered as we said also some of the nodes might fail so here is the illustration of that that here are our consensus abstraction again some of the nodes might fail but still we want that abstraction to succeed and in fact in this case two of the armies still can do the attack and the attack and they can win so the question again if consensus is solvable let us look again to the specification of consensus so we didn't say now how it could be solved but here is a specification of consensus. And in fact, there are many models where you cannot satisfy these specifications. So in some models, consensus is not solvable. And in some models, you can meet an algorithm that satisfies some of the properties of consensus. So for example, it is possible to easily find a model where you can satisfy these two properties. What are these two properties? That every node decide on the same value and only, deci only a decided value is uh, one of the proposed values. But sometimes this algorithm also violate property, this first property, which says all nodes eventually decide. So it's somehow the algorithm in some cases might get stuck. So we will discuss all of these issues in our course. We'll discuss what models can be used to solve the problem. And if the problem is not solvable in certain models, what properties are going to be uh, violated and what properties are not going to be violated. So we can. Um, one issue here we want to say is that um, consensus is very important problem. In fact, it is used in databases. So assuming databases, especially in, in distributed databases, where different transaction try to make changes to the same data set, 
and in databases if you are running transaction you have only to uh, do this transaction one after the other so so all nodes have to agree on the changes serially of what um, the different transaction uh, have uh, committed to do and in fact just to make this work uh, distributed transaction have a transaction protocol which ends with something called an atomic commit an atomic commit is a kind of consensus where if all nodes make the same changes so they can agree and this is a commit they can propose a commit but if some node fail or if some node could not make the changes then uh, that node uh, will abort and everybody should abort that's what it is so saying it in a different way just about distributed databases is that in distributed databases we have data partition across different nodes we want all updates of a transaction to be atomic that's mean all is done and visible or none and if all nodes agree the change should be visible to all subsequent operations or subsequent transaction in the database but if one of the nodes fail all will abort as if the changes were never made and nobody sees the changes so another problem is atomic broadcast in an atomic broadcast a node broadcasts a message to all other nodes in the system if we assume that the sender is correct and all nodes uh, deliver the message and all nodes uh, deliver the same messages and they also deliver the same messages on the same in the same order okay so this is an agreement about even the order of message delivery that's good an atomic broadcast uh, is important because you can use it to implement reliable services you do that by implementing uh, something called uh, replicated services so what is a replicated service you have a service and you want to replicate across multiple machines so you have multiple machines implementing the service but all of them execute the same sequence of commands in the same order therefore if they start from a certain state and all these commands are deterministic they will arrive to the same final state and that what is called replicated state machine in fact a replicated state machine can be implemented using uh, atomic broadcast and it's very easy to see it just will command will go through an atomic broadcast abstraction and so they will be delivered to the ser to the servers in the same order and therefore the servers will execute the commands in the same order and it's used to provide fault tolerance if some of these machines fail the other can continue very good so here's a we just described the importance of consensus so let us look to another interesting problem where that we are going to discuss in this course which is the equivalence between different problems or different service abstractions so for example atomic broadcast is equivalent to consensus and by equivalence we mean that given an atomic broadcast implementation we can use it to implement consensus and given a consensus implementation we can use it to implement atomic broadcast so let us see the first one that given an atomic broadcast um, implementation we we see how we can solve consensus uh, this is done in a simple way so basically every node broadcasts its proposal that's all right but because we have an atomic broadcast abstraction so the atomic broadcast abstraction is going to order the proposals and therefore every node then just decides on the first received proposal 
and therefore message will be received in the same order and all nodes decide the same so that is atomic uh, that is consensus given an implementation of an atomic broadcast uh, the converse which is given a, a consensus how we implement uh, atomic broadcast we are going to see this in the course but in summary atomic broadcast and consensus are equivalent very good here is just an illustration of this where we want to implement a consensus using an atomic broadcast abstraction and so basically you can see here they send different proposals and this proposal goes to the atomic broadcast abstraction but it will be ordered there and everything will be received in the same order and therefore they can do the attack as you can see agreement is a core problem in distributed system whether it can be solved will depend on which distributed system model we are assuming and that will be the talk of the next unit. Thank you.